Hi everybody, welcome back to PUBG and it is the 24th of April 2024. We've got some pretty exciting news about something that's coming to PUBG next month on PC and console and that is classic Erangel. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to this um, article in the description below this video so you can watch, watch the video that's on it because it shows you some of those old places. So next month from May the 14th to the May 28th on PC and on PlayStation and Xbox from May 23rd to June 6th. So how, how long is that? It's uh, two weeks, isn't it? We're going to be able to get back to an old version of Erin Girl. So let's read what they've got to say. That's what the devs have got to say. Welcome back, players. We are going home. The sharp-eyed among you may have already noticed, but Erangel Classic is finally making its triumphant return to the battlegrounds. We hope this offers the chance not only to revisit the iconic world, but also to recall the cherished moments shared with friends and comrades in days gone by. Here we have Erangel Classic. Wow, yeah. When? May 14th on PC, May 23rd on console. Erangel Classic will replace the current Erangel map in normal match during the above period. What we are bringing back. Prepare yourself to relive the nostalgic moments as we're bringing back the features that once defined the very essence of PUBG on your OG Erangel. This is the ultimate life and death opportunity, so be sure to jot down and learn all the details before the official adventure begins in May. Remember the gloomy, melancholic weather that you secretly enjoyed? Meet the foggy and rainy weather on the battlegrounds once more. Yeah, I've forgotten they'd taken that away. Used to be a right pain when it rained because you couldn't hear people's footsteps. Miss the days when you had to rush to grab your favourite weapon. Bench weapons are reinstated on the starting island. Seize your weapon before the supply run, runs dry. Now, this, well, mm, on console, this wasn't available for very long because they, <laughs> they blamed this on, uh, well, they blamed the crashing on, on servers on this. And you may well not even be aware of what. Of, of this so what used to happen is when you would spawn in on spawn island there would loads of weapons would be there and everybody would run over to the tables and pick them up and start firing them so you would get and every, and all of the players were on spawn island as well so you'd have a hundred players trying to grab these weapons then start shooting each other but i think it didn't, didn't kill you that everybody was invulnerable but you can imagine the slowdown that would happen when you've got, you know, I don't know, maybe there was 50 weapons and they're all firing full, fully auto all at once. So they got rid of that. I mean, another thing that we don't have now that we used to have that was there for not very long, a very short period of time on console, it was, for, for, on PC it was for, for a while, was when you were in the plane, you were actually in the plane. You could look left and right and, you, you know, all the players would be would be next to you in first person view. That was pretty amazing. We've even dialed back the clock. We've even dialed back the clock on the UI on the user interface. Upon entering Erangel Classic, you'll be greeted by the familiar sight of vintage world map and mini map, the match start timer, and the charmingly tacky font and graphics. It's a nostalgic journey that transports you to the past. The firearms carry a certain nostalgic touch too. That's right. We've reduced recoil. While not an exact replica of the old recall, players will still be able to reminisce about those early PUBG days. Search for the Tommy gun in the care package, just like the old days. <laughs> yeah, the Tommy gun used to be in the care package. Wasn't that great, was it? <laughs> but then again, I'm pretty sure the bolt-action rifles were in the care package too. Like the Car 98. Not the Car 98. The Was it the Car 98? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Car 98 was in was a care package weapon. Back in those days, level three helmets, level three vests, level three bags. These were all care package stuff. Um, seems that knocking down enemies will require more time, just as it used to. Okay, so that means the time to kill is going to be slightly longer. We've also thrown some clothes and helmets on the ground. Again, something that if you weren't around there for the beginning of PUBG. What used to happen is that you'd be running around, and not only would there be weapons and ammunition and attachments on the floor, there was all the clothes. <laughs> so you, would be, you would be picking up clothes, but it was a real pain, because often that scope that you were looking for was underneath the jacket was there. And we used to, used to spend waste loads of time trying on different outfits, because you, you'd have the favourite outfit that you wanted to try on. We're taking it back to where it all began, but with a few modern tweaks. Erangel Classic preserves the essence of the earlier version of Erangel, its distinctive appearance and atmosphere. 
all while delivering the enjoyable gameplay experiences that players have grown accustomed to. Check out the patch notes on May the 13th for full details on all the throwbacks. Okay, so that's going to be where we're really going to load all the other stuff. So that's going to be, I guess, we're going to go back to with um you know uh, bridge blocks will be bridge blocks there won't be all the other ways to get across to the island to military island that is um and i guess we'll know exactly what period they're going back to whether it's original original erangel or one of the changes in between i imagine it's original original um what i really like about this idea is that it's a great way to get players coming back to the game just to check it out because although it's going to be old Erangel, it's not old engine, is it? So it's going to run really smoothly, I would have thought, like PUBG does at the moment. And then oh, I think they could do this with most of the maps, couldn't they? I really want to go back to OG Vikendi. OG Vikendi is the one. Honestly, the, the, when they brought out Vikendi, they, all the mistakes that they had made with Miramar and Sanhok... Um, when Vikendi, the snow map, came out, they had learned from all those. And I still think to this day that, that the original Vikendi was as good as, if not better, than Erangel. But the problem with it, it was too complicated in terms of how how big the map was and what was on it. And which meant that the performance was rubbish on console. So people would be dis disappearing underneath the map. Things wouldn't load in. There was all these technical problems with it. But as far as the way it used to play and the different areas of interest that were on it, it was really, really good. So I'm looking forward to this as a way into bringing back, you know, old, um, I mean, old Miramar, you know, not really that bothered. Old Sanhok, definitely, because Sanhok used to have wide rivers <laughs> and you had these proper choke points that you used to have. Definitely old Vikendi. And you know you just you can bring these maps back, you know, a flavour of them, can't you? Bring them back for a couple of weeks. We then we go back to the new maps and and keep moving around like that. And it shows you the devs are trying different things, aren't they? They're throwing uh, different things at the wall to see what people like, to get people interested, to come in and say, look, PUBG is running smoother than ever, um, and uh, you know we've got all these different ideas. Come back and give it a go. And this is a great reason to do that. Anyway, what do you think? Put your questions in the comments down below. Looking forward to the full patch notes soon. And of course, I'll see you again soon.